Hey y'all, hey, Erica and Jason with Time to Shrink, and it's time to... Drink. Time to drink up, y'all. We're on our ginger beer series. Jason has three different ginger yeah. beer based drinks for us to try tonight. And I think they're all new, right? New yeah, to well, us, new to me. They're uh, the two kind of new and one we just adapted from the book. It's kind of fun, actually. I think you're gonna Okay. Like it. All right. This is all stuff up Jason's sleeve, y'all. It's all new to me. So I'm going to grab my stool and we'll let Jason start creating. All right. So, first one, very traditional. We are going to make a foghorn. Very simple, very simple oh, highball. Yeah. Just a highball with gin. Normally you would use like a dry London gin. That's kind of like the thing behind it, you know, like the foghorn, the London gin, but we don't like London gin and I'm gonna drink this. So I'm gonna make it with the gin I like. I do y'all know, like London dry gin. Y'all know what gin I like. I like this lock-in union right here. Which one do I have? I don't even remember, what did it say there? This is the barley. Oh yeah, I like the barley. That's I think, my favorite. I think we turned the, um, the American gin what into, the, into, into the, blue. the blue, so that was fun in another yeah. episode. But all right, simple foghorn. Um, I'm gonna make it in the shaker at least. Start? No, no, I'm not. I'm not even gonna make it in the copper shaker. We're just gonna build this one in the glass. Jack, throw me the jigger. Oh my goodness! At least you didn't hit the light. All right, foghorn. Very simple. You take two ounces of gin, and again, it's supposed to be the London dry you can gin. You talk like in a normal speed. You're not on Instagram. Oh. He's like doing an Insta story for y'all. He's talking like 50 miles a minute. I don't know. I so, presented today. It's at it work, so maybe that's part maybe. of it. I don't know. All right, we're going with two. Oh, this smells so good. I love this gin. I really do. You want to? I like it. It too. really smells good, like doesn't it? it? It's yeah. a good gin. The Lock and Union Lock gin. And Union. They did gift this to us, but it's they still did. it's by far one of our very favorite gins that we've tried. Regardless, we will buy it again oh, ourselves yeah, absolutely. for sure. All right, so we got our two ounces of gin. Again, it's supposed to be London dry gin, but we're making a drink we like. So there you go. An ounce of lime uh, juice. Lime juice. <laughs> done one of these in a long time that wasn't live. It feels yeah, weird to be taping weird. this and not talking like to people on the other side. All right, we're just going to put the ice in and I'm going to bar spin. I'm not, we're not really set up here one day. Where's your bar? Where's uh, your, you don't have your set at all. I know. We're not set up all here, guys. There you go. I got it. All right, there you go. And you just top it with the ginger beer. And again, this is our Gosling's Diet Ginger Beer. Best stuff on the market by far. You want to do about four ounces here. That's about what I have left in this highball glass. You can give it a little stir, give it a little bit more ice. It's kind of a fun twist on a gin and tonic. It's just a little bit sweeter because you get the ginger on it, you know? Yeah. All right, Eric is just having a sip. What do you think? It's really good. It's light and refreshing. <laughs> yeah, it's a good yeah. drink. It's kind of like a gin and tonic, but with the ginger, you get a little bit more sweetness. You can see yourself like drinking some of these, right? Like yeah, you sit down good. and you Don't drink it. Don't spill it on me. About to slush it out. Slush it out, baby. All right, there All you right. go. Next simple, drink. very simple drink very right there. Simple. All right, you want to stay with the gin or we want to switch it up? Let's switch it up because I, I, okay. I like what we got going on here. All right, this is one I saw. I was looking for some different stuff that would be low carb, you know, keto, whatever we're doing but still really get the taste of the ginger beer. This next one I think is really complex and I think it's really enjoyable. We kind of teased it last time because we said we were going to do something with orange liqueur. Somebody on the live show was asking about doing something with the orange liqueur. I don't know if you remember that or not, but yeah, this is it. So again, we're going two ounces of gin. This is a gin drink. I don't know what to do with my gin. I thought you said we were not switching it up and not doing gin. We're switching up when I'm doing gin. It's just like a live show. Yeah. All right, so we're going to use... Some good outcuts for the end, maybe. Oh, and here's Hazel. Hi, Hazel. Must be filming. It must be time to film if Hazel's on and set. it's time to drink with Hazel. Ounce and a half of, we're using Demerara right now, just because I think it's really going to work well with what we're using. I love Demerara rum, y'all. It tastes like that sweet, dark, sugary, but it doesn't have any sugar in it. It's super good. No, it's really good. All right, here it is. This is not brandy. This is our low carb orange liqueur. Right. Absolutely. If you like any kind of rum or tequila drink, definitely worth knowing how to make this stuff. Absolutely. So orange liqueur, very potent stuff. We're going with just half an ounce of it here. We do have the recipe for this in our cocktail book, which is always linked down below, y'all. The recipe for the triple sec. The recipe for everything we're making now will be exactly down below for you. 
but the triple sec is in our cookbook. All right, so we got the rum, we got the orange liqueur. We're gonna go with a half ounce of lime juice, because we love lime juice. And, and again, this is fresh yeah. lime. He squeezes it ahead of time so that it's just easier for us while we're making the drinks, but we do really suggest buying fresh lime juice. It definitely makes a big difference if you use fresh versus like a store-bought lime juice. All right, well, you can do any kinds of bitters you want to do with this drink. I think, what do you think, the chili with the ginger or just stay with citrus? I'm thinking citrus, All right. but I don't know. You want to I be adventurous, maybe? I didn't know if you wanted to be adventurous maybe. or not. So these are the Hella. Again, they're linked in our cookbook. We like these. This um, brand, it, it they, comes as a set of a bunch of different bitters. They yeah, have good flavor. Good, good different the, flavorings. And, and the of, price is, yeah, is it's moderate. Good. It's not a bad price at all. You definitely can spend money on higher quality bitters, but these are good. Yeah, they I, work. I do find, and you can see what I just did there. What I just did, I would call two dashes. Like the one thing I don't like about these Hella comes out very is slowly. they don't have a big enough yeah, hole. So like out. your one big shake. Yeah. Only gets you a couple of drops, so you really gotta just kind of yeah. go for it. But they're good. All right. All right. So what we'll goes next? We have rum. We have triple sec. We have lime juice. Yeah, we're gonna shake this up, and okay. then we are going to. We're gonna serve this in. We're gonna serve it in a highball. Yeah, okay. I'm calling it the rum highballer. Very simple stuff to know. Again, I just if you find this ginger beer, you buy it. You open a can. You're only using four ounces to make a drink. So I just think it's cool to have a few some, different, some different options because yeah. you're getting 24 drinks. Hazel thinks she would like you know. some ginger beer. No baby. <laughs> so just gonna strain, it probably doesn't even need to be strained. We could use the I'm ice. Put it like over ice. Well, yeah, I'm gonna pour it in the glass ice because I've already, I've already chilled it. Yeah. And then we're gonna pour the ginger beer over the okay. ice. I don't think I've had rum and ginger beer. I know, it's a different one, isn't it? No. A little bit different, so. Give it a pour. You can go two to four. It's up to your taste here. That's probably about three, what Erica just did there. Give it a little stir up. That's good. You like that one, don't you? It's very rummy. It's rum. Well, that's because yeah. we use the Demerara. The right? Demerara has like a yep. lot of body yep. to it. Yeah. It's good. I wasn't sure what I was going to think about the rum combination with the rum and the ginger beer. These drinks are like night and day different, like so different, yeah. but using such similar ingredients, but the alcohol was so, yeah. so very different. Yeah. Like this is super light and refreshing. And this has a little more depth to it because that rum, that dark, yeah, dark rum. I still think they're good fall drinks but, though. Yeah, oh yeah. They're good definitely, fall drinks. Definitely. This is more like fall in the south because it's still like, it's so it's light and refreshing. It's a little bit of light and refreshing. refreshing. It's a little more yeah. summery. But it I, is. It's, but gin and tonic first with the wall, obviously. Yeah, then, you can drink that all year long. But this with the Demerara, it had a nice heavy, yeah. and then the, um, the triple sec, great body to it. Two down, those are both really good. What's all next? All right. This next one, and I don't know, maybe Jackson, what, what graphic right here? We're calling it the Stay ginger, down. the ginger fizz, get it? Okay. Gin fizz. We got a gin, great gin fizz recipe in our cookbook. You top it with club soda. We're going to make it and we're going to top it off with the ginger beer. So okay. it's the ginger fizz. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> He's proud of himself for that name. I really am. Tell. I really am. <laughs> All right. So there we go. And again, this recipe is in the cocktail book under the gin section. We use the, what do we use? The San Pellegrino. We're gonna replace it with ginger beer. It's gonna be great. Okay. All right, so we're going with gin. Let me find my lock and union again. Get some of this stuff out of here. I hate some messy set. This volcanic lemon juice does come bottled, but it is really quite good. We do use this instead of squeezing our own lemon often, and you can't tell the difference really. I love this stuff. It is not a cheap product, but it's about 40 lemons in each bottle and it's 100% organic and it's super tasty. So we do use this and I buy it from Amazon. I will try and link that down below. The other thing I like about it is when you squeeze your limes, obviously you get a little bit of pulp, but I feel like when you squeeze a lemon, you get so much more pulp and then you have to strain it and it's just yeah. a lot more work. So this, I don't know, it, I guess it has some pulp in it, but it's just it's, an easy, it's shortcut. Just easy shortcut. It really is. So we're gonna use that. We're also so using the this. swoon. The swoon simple syrup, another easy shortcut. It tastes great. 
and you really can't make it for any less than you right. buy it. So right. this stuff is great if you're just doing a plain simple right. syrup. You can make your own simple syrup. You can use whatever sweetener right. you want to use, but it costs to cost. It's yeah. If you're making like a good allulose sweetener, it's gonna still be expensive. So we like to buy this again Amazon. Yep. All right. So let's get making this one. We are going with. This, and this is like a uh, gin fizz is kind of like a sour, right? right? And then you kind of top it with the sparkling water to give it that extra little, like, just, I don't know, fun. Yeah. Um, so basic sour recipe, I like to go three-fourths sweet, three-fourths of an ounce sweet. So we'll do three-fourths of an ounce of the swoon. And then I do a, an ounce of the acid. In this case, obviously, it's the lemon. So an ounce of lemon juice. You want to do two ounces of whatever alcohol you're using. So we're okay. using the gin here. Anytime you're making a sour, this is the ratios you would use. Okay. All right. And then of course, can't make a sour without our good friend, the egg white. All right. You know, this is the dry shake. Don't put ice in your shaker. It's really good. I wanted to come open then and then it was. Can I get that big old piece in there? Yeah. There we go. The other pieces in the shaker, right? Yep. All right, and now wet shake. Wet shake. Now we just strain it into our cube glass. And then you pour this over top and of it. About an ounce of that on top of it. So. Yep. Yeah. All right. Let's see. It's pretty. That's good. I really like that. Yeah. I like that a lot. Yeah. This That's my good. favorite of the three. Yeah. By far. You love a sour. You love the walk and gin. Yes. You love Gosling's gin. True. Beer. I love all of these things. So, so it makes sense that this would be my favorite of them. Cause yeah, it's quite good, y'all. So three different ginger beer drinks, all very, very simple and easy to put together. And the recipes will be down below. Thanks for hanging out with us, and I hope you enjoyed this. Come back next week. We got another episode of Ginger Beers.